Today is April 3rd, 2021, and this is a brief demonstration of a Tesla receiving setup. Here are two identical Tesla magnifying transformers, although this one has an extra coil resonating at 2.752 megacycles, and this one has a frequency of 2.755 megacycles. So there's really a difference of only three kilocycles. And if we look here on the grounding network that this one Transformer A is connected to a copper pipe which connects to a devised grounding network underneath the dirt here, a low impedance network that is, and then this transformer is connected to a separate ground system which connects to a separate water tap pipe over there. The primaries of the two transformers are shorted, that is, one transformer has its own primary isolated from the other. Now, in doing so, when connected to the ground networks, I could take a radio receiver on an AM channel, bring it close to the extra coil, and we could hear it and receive. This is AM 1430, about four miles away. And because of the extra coil frequency difference, I could bring it near the second extra coil. And we get a second station operating on a frequency of 1300 kilocycles. And if we bring the receiver in the middle, there is a null point where there is only static and barely any audible radio stations. Do you notice some interesting effects? Both primaries of the transformers have been connected in parallel. And if I bring the same receiver and bring it to extra coil number one, we see that the audio output is fairly low. But if we bring it closer to extra coil number two, we see that the audio output is greater. Similarly, if we connect the primaries in series, we could see that bringing it to extra coil number one instead increases the audio output. And if we bring it to extra coil number one, we get nothing but static. So most of the energy is being dumped into extra coil number one. By keeping both transformer coils near each other and both extra coils at their center point, we can find that the null point becomes more defined. And it becomes more concentrated near the middle section between the extra coils. And if we bring the radio anywhere near close to both extra coils, we could find that AM 1430 becomes most predominant. Yet this null point where a small remainder of AM 1300 exists, there is this blank spot. Which is located almost directly in the middle between both extra coils and relative to both transformer coils. Going back to the first test where both stations were isolated, that being AM 1430 separated from AM 1300, then we could move one coil closer in so that to increase the coupling, thereby having only one station being prominent. Therefore, 1300 is being present at both coils. And in between, we could hear that the null point has increased in intensity and has become very narrow. So we could see that it's mainly the middle section where this point is existing. By continuing to keep the original setup as set, both transformers have moved all the way inward along with their extra coils. Now, by doing so, we could see by bringing the radio closer, the null point has increased in intensity, but dissipates near the coil, 
where we could still receive stations near the coils. So there being that there is a null point that has been concentrated near this middle section. Now because the frequency is off on both coils by 310 kilocycles, the null point will vary and will not necessarily be uniform, but nevertheless it still exists. What is most interesting is that we have the ability to cancel out any stations present between the coils. And this could be done by shorting both ground terminals coming into the bottom secondary neutral point of the coils. And by doing so, we cannot receive any radio stations near or in between the extra coils. But if we disconnect that connecting terminal, then we're able to receive some AM stations, predominantly 1300 and 1430. But if we short it back, then we cannot receive anything. So this shows that there is also a complete cancellation factor that neutralizes any chance of radio stations being predominant.